As political leaders around the world reacted to Thursday's deadly attack in Nice, France, America's presidential candidates weighed in on what appeared to be another act of terrorism, underscoring their sharp differences on foreign policy. Hillary Clinton called into Fox News' The O'Reilly Factor, a rare occurrence for the Democratic candidate. She stressed the importance of working with American allies. One of my priorities is to uh, launch an intelligence surge. We still do not have enough uh, intelligence cooperation between uh, our agencies and those in other countries. In stark contrast, Donald Trump struck a more protectionist tone, telling Fox News he would ask Congress for a declaration of war on the Islamic State. I would. I would. This is war. If you look at it, this is war coming from all different parts. Trump also said he would call for, quote, extreme vetting of those coming into America. Uh, I would be so extreme in terms of documentation. We have people that Hillary Clinton wants to allow 550 percent more than Obama. And Obama is allowing a lot of people to come in. We have no idea who they are. They're from Syria, maybe, but they have no paperwork many times. The candidates' reactions highlight a pattern of responding to terrorist attacks. Following last December's San Bernardino shooting carried out by ISIS sympathizers, Trump called for a ban on Muslims entering America, while Clinton continued to support allowing Syrian refugees into the United States. After the coordinated attacks in Belgium in March, Trump called for new laws to allow the use of torture. Clinton said torture would be an open recruitment poster for terrorists. And in the wake of the Orlando nightclub shooting in June, Trump criticized Muslim communities for not reporting people suspected of potential violence, while Clinton denounced inflammatory anti-Muslim rhetoric. Following these major global terror attacks over the past year, national security has become a top concern for Americans, and the fight against ISIS is likely to weigh on voters' minds heading into November.